Hi, sorry to uh, keep you waiting there. Um, oh shit, where have I done my notes? Okay, what I want to talk about today is uh, the lure. Um, obviously, it's uh, it's quite a, a task what um, what we're doing. So, um, right. <laughs> What I've done is, I'm, I was originally I was planning to base this on the SU25T, um, but as I explained before, if I use the SU25T, that's in kilometres per hour and metres, so the gauges will be uh, geared up to reference uh, those values. So it's not going to be any good, and obviously as well, it's non-clickable uh, module, so um, it's not really a good basis to start. So. I was tinkering with uh, using uh, another mod. Um, obviously, it doesn't sit, sit comfortably because it's uh, somebody else's work. Um, but anyway, I've spoken to the devs of the uh, A4 mod, and uh, they've explained that the, the, the code structure in there is open source, so they're very happy for me to show it. So um, I would recommend that you download the A4 mod. Um, I've uh, downloaded it myself. Um, show you a quick screen of it. Uh, this is uh, it's an absolutely beautiful model. Um, it's a fully functional cockpit. It does carrier landings, carrier takeoffs. You can really have good fun with this, um, and it's totally free by the community. So uh, if you want to download that, um, you can. Uh, was it? So you can go here on the uh, Eagle Dynamics website, um, and there's all the information about it there. So uh, well worth checking that out. Um, we've even got a uh, Discord channel as well where you can go and speak to them about it. So it's absolutely stunning work. So yeah, permission from them to uh, use it. So I'll jump into the uh, file structure. Um, I'll start with um, putting my stuff on the uh, right hand side there. This is the uh, BD5 um, lure that uh, I've been working on, and this is the uh, lure from the EF uh, from the uh, A4 mod. Um, there's tons of files uh, to go through in there, um, so I've really had to do some digging um, to, to find out uh, how everything works and how to put everything together. So starting off with the uh, with the entry, I mean this is pretty standard stuff where you make your declaration. Um, my file is different to theirs uh, somewhat. Um, this was. Uh, not far off from how I had it originally. Uh, you just declare the, 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 the plugin um, and some uh, extra parameters such as input profiles, logbooks, skins, etc. etc. And some basic information on there. Then you've got some section here. This is for uh, doing all the, the paths to, so like these are the model paths, so for the shape of the aircraft and the shape of the cockpit. And there's your liveries, textures for the model, and uh, textures for the cockpit. They're all identified um, and uh, referenced individually. And then come down to here to make the actual mod flyable. Um, again, this is pretty straightforward uh, code. I have had to adjust this so that it references uh, the com lua file, which uh, I'll show soon um, and then there's the, the, the lure for the uh, for the model reference to the lure for the views um, this sets up the view settings and completes the plugin and over here the differences are um, we've got this which is quite interesting um, 
I'm assuming they've got their own DLL which uh, they haven't uh, released uh, with this uh, mod, but I don't know that for sure. Then they've made a, a variable where I've just put in a string. They've made a variable, um, posted the variable to uh, to the plugin, and then these are pretty much the same. They have got these extra properties here, which I haven't got, um, and this one. I don't know if any of these are actually relevant or not. So just coming down then in reference to binaries, which I haven't got a binary. Uh, and they're just basically referencing a, a nil or a null value. So uh, that's not being used. And then this is pretty much the same from here. Um, they have obviously got their extra textures because it's a much more complete uh, module and there's a lot more to it than uh, with a combat aircraft. So they've had to uh, reference all these extra textures. Then moving further down, there's some information on the uh, the flight model, but again that's uh, null, so there's no um, DLL with the flight model in it. And then passing through, just making the uh, uh, the, the module work. So I'm just passing nil through here and here, with uh, passing through scripts and uh, FM. Uh, flight model uh, reference and script reference. And, um, obviously, I haven't had to include payloads because there isn't any payloads nor weapons, so I haven't included those files. And then these are very similar, so for reviews and uh, to make the reviews actually work, these yeah, and complete the plugin. So the first uh, reference is to. Uh, here is to actually I don't reference the so where I've, I've uh, did I yeah so they've referenced the uh, main A4 lure here so look into that so again it's quite different they've got some some functions um, that I guess and that's some bomb or a gun or something. A gun. Oh yeah, a gun. Uh, I don't need that, so I have uh, omitted that. I don't have need to worry about weapons. All this is omitted from my code. Um, as is this, this. So none of that's relevant to me. Um, if anybody was developing a uh, combat module, then that would be relevant to to them. Um, there's also some uh, constants that they've put in there to. Um, Make things easier, it's less calculations if it's already calculated. So, uh, that one there, they don't have to calculate that several times, it's already calculated. Um, moving down, we have the, the display name, the name, the, the countries, the view settings. I've copied the, the countries from their, from their information. Um, then we've got the reference to make the cockpit. Uh, a human cockpit. I've got a true. I don't know why this is false. Um, I'll have to play with that and see what's different about um, that parameter being false. Uh, we've got the human cockpit path. So um, again, mine's different. Um, I'm not quite sure what this this does. Um, maybe I'm pointing to the wrong place. I don't know. I'll have to again play with that. Um, I don't really want to change too much because uh, as you'll see at the end it's um, it's working so great believer if something's not broken don't try and fix it um, then there's the shape that's used uh, they've got some extra information which would which I would put in once the uh, model's more complete I'm guessing these are um, the images that show up in DCS like the plane images rather than um, 3D models this bit here is quite easy to um, understand. I'm not quite sure what this WS type placeholder is there. Um, uh, references is you know, put into an index. I, I don't know what that what that is. Um, 
it seems to work. I had it pretty much the same. I had this. This I haven't changed this. This was how mine happened to be, and uh, the same as theirs. Um, we've got this bit commented out because they're using built-in destroyed model. Um, I haven't got a destruction model yet. Um, I may do one. Um, so I'm just referencing the actual aircraft itself here um, for, for any destruction or damage. I added this bit here from their code. I'm not sure whether it work, makes, makes anything work or not. Um, again, I might, what I might do um, after this video uh, is comment that out and um, see if it does have a bearing on what I'm doing. That's the uh, same as this. Obviously, I've got the, uh, I've taken out what I don't need. There's no need for me to have. Um, I don't. I don't even know if I'll have all of these lights. I think I might have sort of like navigation wingtip lights, um, and maybe a one anti-collision light on top. Maybe. Um, there's also two references to air brake on here as well, so that I need to look into. Um, I'm assuming this is one that they've built themselves, and then this is a reference one in the game. Moving down a bit further, again, I'm not quite sure what all this is for. Um, kind of de makes definitions of the aircraft. Um, I've set this up as a as a transport. And I've left the refuelable property there. I've omitted it, but I've left the placeholder. So I'm guessing that's just in the blue and nil or a null value. Um, and I don't have any categories really. My, uh, my aircraft is a is a private jet that you know, people you know, use for leisure, not for uh, combat. Um, these are just um, values that you need to. Kind of tinker with, uh, they're pretty much all referenced um, as to what they are. Um, I haven't looked into this yet, and um, this is for not for making it work, more to sort of like refining how the, the model actually behaves. So, this is all a behavior thing, uh, same with all of the suspension stuff here. This is all behavior. So, I've got I already had bits in there which. Um, or from the original uh, Wonderloft um, demo. Uh, move down to engines, so set one engine there, set the engine positions. I've got all of that set here. I don't need an afterburner cone on mine, sadly. Um, crew information, so uh, I put cockpit in there, that's wrong. I know that's wrong, I will come back to that. Um, that's should be the canopy that's referenced there rather than the um, the cockpit. I do have my position set to uh, 000 because I based the model to be um, centered at where the eye is. Um, oh, well, not where the eye is, so just below where the eye is, but um, the center of gravity is underneath the eyes. Uh, this is the canopy position. I haven't really messed about with that either. Um, when I when I do, I may have to make adjustments there. Five positions I haven't done, so I've just left that empty. Um, this I can probably get rid of, but um, I'm not going to yet. Um, and I, I've obviously I've omitted all of this because it doesn't really do anything other than fly about. So all of this stuff. Well, I might have to put radio in, um, but uh, the rest of it there. Uh, oh, I'm going to have to put that in, obviously. Or, or this. That's for carrier takeoffs, I'm guessing. Yeah, aircraft carrier cap on. Then here we have all this FS SFM data. Again, this is for refining the model, it won't make it work or. Work. Obviously, if you put some figures in here that were absolute nonsense, then um, it would it would crash if you um, put something that was impossible to calculate or a, a dodgy variable in here, then it would it would break. Um, 
and they've got all this extra stuff which are additional aircraft quality so I'll just hide that out because none of that's relevant to me and it's not copied into here pylons I've got that but that's empty as you can see it's completely blank because I don't have any pylons although I may have to add one for smoke they've got loads of different tasks there I've just set one task which is nothing to the uh, SFM data. It's quite complicated. I'm not going to even begin to pretend I understand this. It's just uh, a load of numbers to me at the moment. I'll, uh, I'll dig into it and see if I can uh, figure out what it all means, uh, but not at the moment. So they've made a few attempts at getting these values, so I'm guessing this is quite tricky to work out. Um, moving down from there, we've got the engine information. Again, they've got had quite a few attempts at uh, configuring it and tweaking it. So I'm guessing my uh, pitiful effort will um, have to change. Um, moving down a bit further, damage. I haven't done any damage models. There's no damage parts. Actually, that's empty anyway. That uh, that's all commented out, so that's not included in the code. Um, and then lights, I haven't had any lights. And this is where we add the uh, aircraft. So they're adding their reference from the top. Uh, and I'm doing the same. Yeah. So there is this com folder there as well got loads of stuff in here um, but it didn't make any uh, difference to me it didn't um, uh, I didn't get any changes the only thing I noticed on this one was they've got some uh, parameters um, where I reference my parameters there into a I guess a table or an array or an object um, they've uh, and my, I'm passed them through they're passing through a value an integer value so I'm guessing somewhere there is a um, an index um, that, that they're referencing but I can't confirm that and then there's this extra stuff down here which is wheel chocks um, I haven't got wheel chocks on mine then maybe I'll add them I don't know I don't know there's lots of other stuff to worry about than uh, wheel chocks Views. This is pretty sad, standard stuff. This is just to do with uh, uh, all the different camera angles inside the aircraft. So there's loads of values you can change there. It's probably best not to mess about with that. It, especially as like more and more people are playing with VR and um, track IR, it's not really um, appropriate to snap things to a hat view so much now or to uh, keyboard bindings. So, not really much to show in views. My, uh, my file's labelled differently, but I've referenced it correctly, so it's all fine. Avionics, now this was a big one. Um, where have we got it? Oh, yeah. Basically, to get all of these files, I've just gone into um, their folders. Um, so, say, the cockpit and then into the scripts and I've just gone selected all of them just dragged them into notepad plus um, plus not changing anything I've not changed anything in their files so there's no need to save anything um, but if I just go into the avionics um, so probably what I should show you first is the Device, devices folder. So, where is it? Actually, we can shut that down. That down. That down. Train weapons. Everything's saying it done. Do you want me to carrier? I'm not going to do countermeasures. No. 
electrical systems I will come to, but I've not done anything with them yet. Uh, lights, no. Traps, no. Gear, yes. Gun sight, degree, no. no. Hydraulic system, no. Mission, I've not used yet. Um, radar scope, not used. Uh, radar warning, no. Root shaft, no. Test device, no. Sounds, no. I'm going to need to do this. Um, I haven't done this, but definitely I need to do this. Uh, look at this and try and figure out what it all means because uh, you'll see later on that all my external animations have stopped working, um, apart from ones that I've um, specifically designed. So, actually, rather than showing you the devices, I'm going to show you the, the, the main panel folder of the file of, uh, of these. Which is pretty much where, where it all starts, I think. Is it this one? No, no, no devices, devices, devices. So we have this uh, a counter um, with a, a variable there, finders naught, and then each time a new device gets added to this table, I think they're called in Lua, um, this counter gets. This, one, this method here gets called and uh, value of so for this first one that'll be zero equals zero plus one so then that that's one is assigned to that and then returns so then it'll be two three four all the way through um, at the moment I've only looked at the landing gear and the avionics this one so all of this is, is is not it's not not applicable to me, but it's not applicable to me at the moment. So I'm not going to include it in my code until I need it. So at the moment I've just got avionics and gear, and then this one seems to be the one that actually initializes the devices. It's device in it. Again, I've only done the avionics and the gear. Actually, let's take that out. I think. Or does it matter? I don't know. Um, so there's this creators table here um, called the devices Lua script. So actually, that's that's um, what controls it all. So this device is uh, it's called by that. Um, in here, you set your main panel up. I guess this is for the clickable cockpit. Um, I'm guessing it starts it off. Um, you set some geometry table there. But I don't know where that's actually used because uh, it's not used in this file. So I don't know whether it's uh, just an empty table somewhere. I'm going to have to dig deeper to understand that. So I've added the avionics and gear, and in here you'll see they've got very similar. Well, it's very similar because I've copied and pasted it. Um, there's these indicators here which I haven't included. Um, some nav stuff, um, and I haven't included a knee board, so um, I've not used that. Then the next one is this main panel, and um, this is where things started to sort of like open up and sort of started to get an understanding of it. So I've got my cockpit shape there, reference to if it's an EDM, is it a new model format, some ambient light. Um, parameters. Um, there's this one here, which um, I've got it to true. They've got it to false. So I don't know what this actually does. Um, I needed to change this um, based on my model. So my uh, cockpit point is 35 centimeters um, offset from the center of the model. It's, um, which makes it easy uh, if it's quite close. Um, some reference to controllers, and then this is where I've created the uh, gauge for the in IAS needle uh, animation. Obviously, that's not a clickable thing, that's just a, a needle spinning around. Um, 
but doing it this way I can create my own an um, animation arguments I don't need to rely on using one specified um, web DCS and that means no more going into model viewer and clicking on the um, opening up the cockpits and uh, going through all the arguments one by one to see which one's moving the thing that I'm looking at so don't need to do that anymore which is a good thing um, then this one's for the landing gear animation so I'll come back to this one in a bit um, here they've got there's, there's something for everything gear left hiding the stick and radar altimeter these are just basically specifying um, I'm guessing specifying all of the arguments to be used and uh, creating all the gauges and such like these uh, parameter names they can be set to whatever you want they don't need to be as specified in the A4 mod so like my they've put their IIS needle D IIS degrees I don't know what their um, notation is there with an indicated airspeed maybe degrees I don't know what the it's not important anyway I've just called my IAS needle because I've just got not so I haven't got Mac or anything like that um, so none of this down here is appropriate to me but I will need to um, create my own um, elements um, later on this I didn't need and this I don't know what this does but I didn't need this it didn't seem to make any difference so then we had this materials. I didn't look in this, just didn't mean anything. Oxygen didn't mean anything. This utils, this is quite important. Um, I'll come back to that in a bit. Canopy, I didn't use that. So what have we got over here? Then we went to went to avionics. Um, I looked in this one and. Um, it was, I was like, oh my god, what does this all mean? And then the more and more I looked into it, um, it wasn't too bad. So these are all like definitions, really, the same. Again, what you know, it's like a reference to rather than typing remembering that number all the time, let me just type in spring, um, and it uh, points this variable kilograms to pounds uh, tele sense I'm looking for it. Um, none of this was important to me because this is the avionics for everything so the only thing I was interested in was to do with the IAS at the moment so I've referenced the uh, device definitions here which I'll, I'll show you in a bit uh, the devices which I've already showed you and the utils which I'll show you so all of this, this stuff here was just not important to me so I didn't know whether um, what it did so rather than just deleting it completely I've just uh, um, commented everything out inside of it and there was this one update IAS Mac I kept that one um, but I've um, if I come down to that method Here we go. So mine's slightly smaller. So um, what is it? I didn't need. Oh no, it's not slightly smaller. It's just further down the page. Is everything around it then? See so this sensor data um, this seems to be a, a global uh, object that um, is in DCS as a, a reference to it up here somewhere yeah get base data so I'm guessing that's a DCS internal function um, that gets all the sensor data and then let's get the indicated airspeed I guess the indicated airspeed's 
property in meters per second and then this is a conversion to knots which was referenced here so we know that whatever the meters per second speed is multiply it by this value here and then that will give you the indicated airspeed in knots um, the needle um, this is the angle I'm guessing so I'm going to tinker with this this is quite cool um, because the, uh, oh, the the dial for the indicated airspeed isn't linear, it's not a linear rotation, meaning that like 90 knots is at 90 degrees, it's nothing like that. Um, if the indicated airspeed is less than 50, then the needle stays at zero. If it's equal to 80 or less than 80, then it starts this. Uh, rotation at a different value um, if the indicated air speeds then less than this value then it rotates at a different angle and then that's the max max speed uh, i need to tinker with these values because so it's never never should get up to 300 uh, 733 this is where the needle set Um, uh, this I probably won't be needing so I don't need the Mac number so I'll probably get rid of all of this here and the only one I'm really going to need is, is this one but um, I've still got to dig in deeper to, to understand it fully um, I'm assuming this one will never get used and I can remove that remove all of this and that this is a method that I'm guessing is called internally by uh, DCS um, and that method then will call this method which is the IAS but in here where they've got like uh, all of their um, avionics completed so they've got one for the altimeter, accelerometer um, vertical something index, I don't know, vertical velocity index, uh, fuel gauge, gyros, etc, etc. So all the avionics for those are referenced by this one update. So this update will call, then it will do that, 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 then that, then that, and that, and so on. Then it will do this, which is for, I'm guessing this moves out the uh, arguments. I don't think I'll use that and then this is for if we're fueling so I haven't used that because I won't be doing any air to air refueling so this will probably turn the, the lights off in the cockpit um, let's say in this uh, in these comments there then what have we got um, we have the gear this was another one that I used um, I've copied that but I've not used it yet so none of I've not updated any of this so I'll take that out. Where's the gear? The gear. So oh I was gonna show you this other thing. I think it was in here. So turn No it wasn't it was this one. Um The gear. Well, this was quite a quite a file. Um, I've managed to strip a lot out of this um, from um, the A14. Um, I haven't used an electrical system or um, a hydraulic system. Um, this is uh, getting the um, a reference I guess to the landing gear or to the to the cockpit function I'm not quite sure what that reference is to um, this um, is like um, how fast you want the update to occur I guess and that's like 10 milliseconds maybe um, I'm not entirely sure and this um, because that, uh, I, I don't know where 
I'm guessing that's an inbuilt function because um, I haven't used it, um, or I haven't seen that method. Rather, I've used it, but I haven't seen that method. And then again, another reference to the sensor data. And some uh, conversions. I've removed I've, I've, and the gear commands. And all of this um, I've not used because I haven't got a, a hook. So I've just got the, the reference to I'm guessing this is the G button and then the out and G and the controller G and then this is the click um, reference. Again, I'm only guessing I'd need to um, double check that. This is how long uh, the gear is supposed to take to retract. So I've had to tinker with some of these terms. Now they've got. Uh, there's at 0.01, I've dropped my down to 0.001, so 1 millisecond as opposed to 10 milliseconds, if, if that's in milliseconds. Um, and because the beads undercarriage retracts in like a second or something, so it's really fast to retract. Then um, set some properties for the actual gear state, so whether it's uh, retracted or extended. Or um, this will hold the value that is that is at. Um, some commands to um, listen out for the gear commands. These we need. This one here, which uh, this set command method. Let's go down. Um, so the first method that's called in the update is this update gear. Which is here, and the first thing to do is get the gear handle position. Um, there's a method here, and I'm guessing an inbuilt one. Um, the argument is 53 in the model, in the render model, um, for the um, cockpit animation. Um, this gets the indicated air airspeed. Now, the reason we get the indicated airspeed is because we could have gear over speed. So they have this here fully. Mine's been, um, they've got their references eight for the animation. They've also they've got electrical states. Um, so they've got a solenoid which uh, locks the landing gear on the ground. And, um, okay, so this is the for re uh, retracting when it's airborne. Um, these states here, um, got another method called allow retract. So if that and that are true, then allow retract. If one of these is false, then don't allow a retraction. I'd not needed that, so all that's gone. Well, I've gone straight down to, because uh, I don't want to prevent any of that, I've gone straight down to the over gear, over speed, um, and I've pretty much other than taking this out, um, still in but commented out, um, I've left that as it is. This one, um, I've tinkered with this one a little bit. Um, I wanted my gear to retract constantly together. Um, this seemed to be um, this here as if. If uh, there's a problem, so as I haven't not programmed in any problems, I've, I've taken that out. This this gear error, oh. and I've taken this this section out as well because um, the gears on the lever. So I'm guessing it's mechanical, like hand-powered gear on the bead. I don't know that sure, for sure. So that's why mine's different. And then the same with this one, I've uh, made some changes. So there's not a left side lead. You know, the left side doesn't retract faster than the right side. Um, so I still need to tinker with this because a lot of this might be, you know, unnecessary code for a simple aircraft like what I'm doing. These. Um, handle errors. Um, so it, say if the nose gear did pass beyond zero 
then it sets it back to zero and if it did pass greater than one then it sets it back to one so these are like um, fixers if you like this is what sets the view of the external arguments of the draw so that's the nose gear um, argument of the animation and left gear right gear animation and left gear animation so they're all needed and then um, these um, I don't know whether I'm going to use these or not because um, I'm guessing that's for lights on the panel but I don't know so that's the gear one that was quite complicated. Um, this command definitions one. Um, this is where you set all of the keys that you're going to use in the aircraft. So these guys have got literally hundreds of commands. It's just loads of it. So everything that you click or every functionality that you make is uh, referenced in here. Now I don't have any of this, so I've not copied it across. I don't have a radar or it's not going to be catapult ready. Um, I don't have any stations to arm. I might need a push starter switch, I don't know. Um, I think I do. I don't need any of this. All of this I did need. So I can get rid of this. I don't need that. That I'll need. These I'll need. That I'll need. That I need. These I've commented out because um, I might need those. Power on off switch I need. This I don't need. I think I'll need lights. I'll need a generator of sorts. I'll need battery power. I won't need this. And then there's this for the uh, flaps. Uh, I need them. Spoilers, I probably won't need. So a lot of this in here is just I'm just not going to need it. Um, so I thought I'd um, filled this down, but no, actually I haven't. Um, these were quite important to have. So some best thing to do is just work on one file at a time um, if you work on multiple files um, there's, a, there's a great way of debugging DCS um, which I can show you um, but just work on one file at a time make, make some changes um, save them and then uh, go back into DCS and test um, Moving on, this is the clickable data. This is what makes all of the animations in the cockpit work and uh, makes them clickable buttons. So I haven't got any sounds yet. I will put some sounds in. Um, this, I don't know what this is for. I'm getting this is guessing this is for fonts. This is what seems to make the cockpit uh, clickable. And this, and this, then this here. This is for a two-position tumbler switch, I guess. So here we've got a one-position, a two-position, three-position, uh, an axis, movable axis, limited axis, uh, multi-position switch. So I'm guessing that might be rotaries, maybe. Um, not sure what limited means. Uh, a default, some sort of lever. Maybe that might be more appropriate for the landing gear animation. And uh, a tumbler. I did think there was one for a momentary switch as well. Maybe I must have dreamt it. I'm sure I've read somewhere that there, uh, there's a momentary switch as well. What a momentary switch is one way you. Said I can have it in, but it's got three positions up and down uh, and center. And if you push it up and hold it, 
and it will do the action for up and as soon as you take your finger off it will revert to the middle position and um, this one for those as well they're useful for say like engine starts which is um, then moving down here once you've defined this functions you can um, set your elements to um, these functions so basically when you define an element in A that's um, a two position switch called landing gear handle of the gear device um, the command is gear and the argument for them is 8 mine is 53 because that's what I've defined in the model it's got PNT 53 now if you these are defined in the model these are the points the empties or I don't know what they're called in um, what whether they're called empties in uh, 3ds max or not um, in blender they're called empties and it's like a, a reference point that doesn't actually get re rendered um, if you call it anything other than PNT underscore the, the number value it doesn't seem to work um, I'll have to double test and confirm that but it, it was throwing errors and um, I'll show you how you can see errors shortly um, and this goes through all the elements that are defined here and sets up extra properties in them so if it's a I don't know what this O class is I'll need to work out what this is so I'm guessing it's each just speculate and could waffle on about that forever. If I don't understand it, I'm just talking straight. I mean, um, so that's where they've done it here. I mean, you see, they've got some sort of PCM panels. I'm not sure what T handles are. There's the radios, lighting, uh, emergency generator bypass, lights. So there's loads of switches that I can put in. There's this one for the IAS gauge, so I'm guessing that's to uh, reset the needle somehow. I'll have to look into that. Weapon release. So I'll need to do this for every, add one of these references for every um, uh, clickable element in the aircraft. And you see these points, that's, that's like one where it's got the definition there, another one there. But this one has got extra properties underneath so it's so whether it's animated or and the animation speed uh, they can be defined um, so these are the release which is I don't know I don't know what again I'll have to look into that I would have thought that would be a switch that you just push uh, so I would have thought that that would be a switch that was um, uh, like I described before, a momentary switch, but I don't know, really don't know. So it's all, all starting to make sense now, anyway. Um, I don't know that, I don't know that, I don't know that. So, then there was. Where's this? There was a value, uh, a method in here that I needed, uh, which this. Just trying to find out which. Yeah, avionics. It was referenced. Yeah, so this was causing me an error because I didn't have this utils file um, in my um, files at the time. But I've copied across just what I've needed when I thought I'd needed it. So this uh, get WMA um, is a file from the utils, um, a meta table of instances. Um, yeah. Um, not fully sure what I would share. Um, this is a massive learning curve for me. I'm, I'm doing this completely blind, apart from these sort of um, uh, 
this sort of code that I can jump into like this. But WMA was listed here, weighted moving average class. Um, so what these do is they kind of smooth out the rare animations of uh, things like the the, uh, the dials, the needles on the dials. So this is just basically smoothing it out. Um, I need to just discover what this fully means, um, but uh, I'm guessing it makes it stops it from like being st like stuttery or something. Um, again, just speculation. So I think that's pretty much everything there. I've covered that one. That one got all done. Took the data. Everyone excuse. Yes, so that's everything covered in uh, in, the, in in the Lua files. So if I just go back to the clickable data. So we said here that there's this PNT fifty three. Um, I'll just show you a couple of bits from Blender what uh, what I've done. Um, so this is the, the, the main fuselage and uh, in the last video I created this part here uh, which is the uh, throttle lever and the uh, not throttle lever I keep calling it a throttle lever because it looks like a throttle quadrant but it's a landing gear um, I'm assured it's a landing gear um, and um, basically because I've got this in the cockpit as model as well as in the um, external model. I don't want them to show um, in the cockpit view. So, as I did with the uh, flight stick, I can't hide these because the, the animation doesn't export. It works in Blender fine, but it doesn't export using the Blender. Um, uh, plugin. So, along with this, I've had to move them. So, basically, you don't see this animation occur. Um, but as I've hidden the uh, the dashboard, I've also hidden the uh, the gear block and the gear lever and the gear lever. So that's set both set to argument one one four. When I was doing this, I noticed after I exported it, this is in core terms. This is a Euler. And I was thinking, where the hell does that work? Because I was assured that Euler animation doesn't work, but Euler's is for rotation. So as long as I'm not you not rotating the element, Euler's are going to work for uh, location animations. So if you I press that you can see when I insert a keyframe it could be for location or rotation as long as I don't use rotation I can keep this as a user because um, it's, it's not rotating so that doesn't actually get applied so when I have the, ex the in, when I'm in the cockpit uh, this will be what's drawn from so far from the um, um, internal cockpit I'm probably going to have to leave it at this sort of level of DL because I can't hide these side pocket pins, these side walls. I can't hide them, so I can't have them in both. So I'm probably just going to have to increase the, the detail on the uh, external model rather than um, um, putting them in both. Um, not really for about. Um, that too much yet, but I can still hide the, the. I think there's a throttle lever here, and there's a lever for the um, attenuators. Uh, these speed, um, like almost like uh, reverse thrust, almost like at the back. But um, in normal flight is open, and then I'm assuming after they've landed, I think some guy on the. A blender uh, on a bead forum uh, or the Facebook page for bead said that um, you can use that for like 
12 seconds or something before it gets damaged, so that's going to have to be programmed into the lure somehow. Because I can use empties for this, um, I'm going to try this as an experiment, not, not right now, um, but I'm assuming if I parent three, uh, sorry, ch have three child nodes of this, then the, the, um, the third child node, which would be the fourth in succession, it will have rotated a full 360 along, around the um, x axis, so 90, 180, 270, 360, which would be great if that does work because that means I can align all of these um, elements which have had to rotate by 90 degrees, it will mean I can rotate them um, and have them look um, in, the, in Blender as they do in. Um, in DCS, so that's why this is all crapped out all over the place. It's because everything's been rotated 90 degrees along the normals. So moving on from that, I went into back into the pit, um, and as I said, um, I was using empties to um, to do the uh, animations. So this gear lever now isn't animated it's got no animation data but this empty this point in space has got an animation so it doesn't get rendered but it's just a whole lot easier to work from empties because um, it's just one point that you're rotating rather than like a series of points and then I just add that as a child to this empty button I will try and see whether it exports if I put three other empties in here. Um, parent, um, child, three other empty child nodes, each consecutive year child node of the uh, previous, then it should hopefully be a full 360 degree rotation and look good. Um, and I, I added empties up here for the animations of the. Um, Avionics. Now the avionics aren't working at the moment because of the lure that I've been doing. Apart from this one, the IIS, that does work. Um, that is referenced, but um, these look really bad because they're on the side, but it looks fine in uh, DCS. They um, rotate along the correct axis. This is just a, a hang up for uh, the purpose of um, a rotation for the purpose of. Uh, getting it to export. So moving on, then I have the rotation which is on this one here, which is I've changed it to argument 53, which was what you saw in the lower part. Then I've also I've created this uh, empty which I've added as a child mode and rotated by 90 degrees. Now when you create an empty you can have the empty as different types. So I don't know whether only work, I wouldn't have thought so. Sphere is not really appropriate, or is it? I don't know. So, I'm gonna have a play about with these different types of empties. The one that just looked logical to be the sort of type of empty that would work was the cube. But if I can use cones, so if I can use an empty that I can create a, an elongated empty like this is um, like elongated, that might be a better thing to do. Um, especially for this one because I'm going to have there's a um, sticking out here that'll be the uh, lever for the flaps as well as this the one for the undercoat and um, it's either the flaps or the uh, attenuator I'm not sure which um, but I don't want the uh, this I'm guessing this is like a collision box or something I don't want this box interfering with the, the box for the for the flaps because I'll have to add a box to get the flaps clickable. So yeah, um, I labelled that as PNT53 because everything else, if I tried calling it landing gear lever, it just failed. So that's referenced here. PNT53. Um, let's see if I'm still in my mouse. So it's also referenced in here as well. 
Oh, I don't want that search. Search referenced. Yeah. Gear. And gear in clickable data. So you have to have both those files for this to become a clickable element. So does it work? Let's have a look. Um, actually, I've got this set up for OBS to show. So that's the A4 mod again. Absolutely fantastic mod. There's my crappy little bead. And you see the difference in size between the two. It's absolutely staggering. Looks like my room has been chopped off for just shadows. The size difference is you get the bead. You know the bead is it's just remarkable how much how small it actually is. Um, I really need to get a pilot in there as quickly as possible so that you can get a good gauge of how how small the, the aircraft is. The the engine used it uses is actually off a missile, uh, cruise missile. Um, it's that small; it just doesn't need any power. So here's one I showed you earlier. So you can see the gauges there. Uh, use the mouse wheel to scroll the zoom in more because that's not a function of this. I'm just scrolling it. You see the tiles are starting to look a bit better. I'm still not completely happy with them. Um, this needs to be reworked. Um, I need to completely create this uh, S. This this one's the vertical speed index BSI. So I need to do a new uh, image for that. And then I've got obviously all these dials to do, but this is a you know that that little code's a great uh, starting place, and I'm going to save save a lot more development time because I'm not having to reference all of the arguments used by those. So does it work? What I've done? Let's unpause it. So clicking that lever, and I also get the. Uh, the helper text and I can do that with the G button as well I think I've got this the wrong way around the lever I think in the down position like it's in now it is retracted right, so I've got it extended press G again I'm going to external view internal view sorry Gear goes, gear goes down, gear goes down, gear goes down. And it's a much smoother animation as well. Another day. So, one of the drawbacks was that none of the animations of the Flight surface is working anymore, so I've got to redo those. Um, as defined in the, um, the lure, I've got to find out the definitions of how I uh, reference those and, and, and actually the functionality of that, and presuming we set the flight stick. So, there we have it. Um, finally, a clickable copy of how we can move to land. It's not really good. Never good. There's a new one. So, anyway, I hope um, this has been useful to you. Um, it's certainly been a lot of effort trying to get this to work. Um, you know, again, thanks to the uh, guys who developed the A4 mod, and thanks to them for allowing me to. Uh, show what they've done um, and uh, use use elements of their code to to build my model. So I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching.